Wow, that's a good question. I mean, so many of the people I've worked with come from Sketch. Oh, sure, Paul Rudd. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Paul's fabulous. Yeah. yeah, he's hampered in that he's, uh, it hurts him, actually, that he's handsome and charming. I'm not sure that really translates. Paul is so sharp. He's really smart and very funny, very quick. So I think those things help. And he's, you know, yeah. such a good actor, too, so he actually plays scenes. When I got hired for Saturday Night Live, um, we had did one show in New York, and then the writers went on strike, and the producer said to me, go home to Chicago and take uh, Eddie Murphy and Joe Piscopo and have them work at Second City for two weeks. I have to say, Eddie Murphy is the one person that I've ever known with no training, no whatever, could get on that Second City stage and completely do it without... It was autopilot for him. The only person I've ever seen could automatically uh, improvise. I didn't know that story. Brilliant. You guys Brilliant. came back for two weeks two and weeks, worked yeah. out? And Eddie was astonishing. That's it's just because he was a child. Well, he was 17 years old. It was ridiculous. He, and he, so the key to doing it is playing. And playing came so natural to him. He just, whatever the game was, he just got it. It was amazing. You know, John Banks was even around the whole scene in New York when they were doing Lemmings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was uh, he really? I didn't yeah, know I don't think he was in Lemmings, but he was with, hanging with all those guys. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a hippie. Oh, uh, Matthew Reese, really funny guy, really silly guy. Jason Mitchell, who played Eze e in Trade on a Compton, and uh, was wonderfully hilarious on set with off-the-cuff ad-libs during Keanu. Like, really great. He did a really great job. Him and Cliff, Cl uh, and Method Man, both, which I was not expecting. There's a fellow from Steppenwolf, Al Alan Wilder, who, uh, when I when I left Second City, I, I told Bernie he should hire Alan Wilder to replace me. Uh, and I think he, Bernie offered it to him, but Al, Al stuck with Steppenwolf. It's a good move. <laughs> so many of the hosts that came on to SNL where they, where they just are just phenomenal, like, you know, they just, they just get the medium right away, like the idea of it, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, you know Timberlake, Alec Baldwin, you know, John Hamm, John Goodman, yeah, absolutely. So, so any of those guys, for sure. Julia Sweeney is here tonight, and she said, I feel so weird, I'm, I'm not even Second City. I said, but you're Second City adjacent. Absolutely. Tom Hanks, hilarious, he can do it all. Um, Alec Baldwin, I mean, there's people who can do it all. Um, George Clooney. Sharon Stone. <laughs> She's a very funny. Hilarious. She's a she very, is very so funny. Jeff Pearson, who he plays uh, the ex-president yeah. on uh, Designated Survivor. I did a movie, Bobcat Goldthwait movie with him. He's just such an inherently funny, dry guy. I think he would have been a great Second City guy yeah. back in the day. That, that's John, one. John Krasinski is super funny. He's one of those guys like, wait, you weren't at Second City? Like, there's only, they come off so Second City-like the way they think, and they're ensemble players, you know, which you don't always get. And yeah, he was great.